If you're not prepared to spend time with your wife, if you're too embarrassed to take her somewhere and to spend time with her, quality time, why did you get married? Why did you waste somebody's life? If you don't want to talk to her correctly, why did you marry? Why did you take someone else's daughter? Subhanallah, this is someone's child. The same applies to the females. If you really did not want to speak properly to your husband, why did you marry? You should have been honest. You should have been upright. You should have said so from the beginning that look, I'm marrying you. But to be honest with you, I will just look at you without talking. May Allah help us really. You need to smile and the smile is an act of worship when it comes to your fellow Muslimin, you know, your brethren, you smile, you break into a beautiful smile. Mashallah, you know, you smile. Imagine if a smile is an act of worship when it comes to fellow human beings. What about when it is your own spouse? It is a far greater act of worship. You need to show your teeth to your spouse. And when you grow older, you can show your dentures too. Mashallah. Really. Subhanallah. For as long as you smile and you know, you just smile, look at them, admire them from top to toe. Look twice, thrice. She is not a woman whom you need to lower your gaze from, but you don't look at her. Allahu Akbar. But the others, we look at them head to toe, head to toe. And we go to the sheikh saying, that was only one gaze. I didn't look away. Not yet. But your wife, whom you are supposed to praise, you're supposed to tell her, darling, you're gorgeous. You know, you are, mashallah, figure like a trigger. The other day we used the term aerodynamic, mashallah. You know, subhanallah, beautiful. You see the shapes of the motor vehicles are changing every year. Subhanallah. May Allah bless us. We will praise the shape of the new C-class and say, wow, that's a baby S-class. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Well, look at your wife and tell her, mashallah, you are my baby. It's an act of worship. If you are not going to say these beautiful words, your knot is probably going to break. To be honest with you, that knot would be so loose that you can't even say a good word. Every time you say a good word, you're actually making sure the knot is tight. So my brothers and sisters, make sure the knot is tight enough. It mustn't loosen and it mustn't break. You know, when you are too hard, then what happens? The lace, if it is a lace, it would break. And if you are not bothered at all, then the knot is so loose that it would actually come apart. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. This is why we say you will have qualities in your spouse that you may not like. It's normal. They are human beings. Human beings work on them. Do not just want out in two days, five days, one month. You might have a small irritation. You know, a person sometimes may not know how to handle a woman and a woman may not know how to handle a man. The nature is a little bit different. We know that. So sometimes a woman prefers to remain silent for a while and you can't just get excited and agitated and irritated and you better talk to me and you lift her up. <laughs> what are you doing? You're tightening that knot so much it's about to break and it will break. By the time you put her down, there's no knot left. Really tie the knot correctly for the sake of Allah. She is someone's daughter. Would you like someone to do that to your daughter, your mother, your sister? The answer is no. So watch out. Treat her correctly. She has a nature. If you don't know how to handle a woman, go for classes prior to marriage. We encourage the ulama here to have marriage classes, really. Coaching. What should I do? Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease and goodness. Because how to treat the opposite sex and to know their temperament, to know what they may or may not, you know, what you will find in the opposite sex, important. Very, very important. Some of us, you know, we know, we know nothing. The last thing, subhanallah, you get married and you think I'm the boss. And that's it. Boss? Boss is a perfume for all I care. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. If you are boss, you will be sprayed and you'll be sprayed all over the show, my brother. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. Remember this. This is Allah. This is a gift of Allah upon you. You need to treat a person like a gift. Like I say, be patient. Work on them.